Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Here I am already starting with my hair, like, uh, you know, it's all a mess. I do not have my selfie stick thing that I had the other day. Um, I haven't even went to the office yet. I just got here today. It's like, let me see what time it is. It is 3.35. Oh my God. You just, if I had to explain my life, can't believe, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you an update on Randy. Today is Thursday. Well, I don't know. I think it's the 28th, uh, April 28th, right? So Randy just texted and he said he came through his procedure great, which they called it a surgery, okay? He came through it fantastic. He said he didn't have any pain. It was for his back. I think they were doing stem cells in three vertebrae in his back, okay? Thank goodness. And let me tell you something. I was worried. I was nervous, of course. And he was nervous too, okay? So he didn't want to say, but he he kind of said, but he was he was nervous. Can't believe I feel relief already. Oh my God, I have been in pain so long. Bless his heart is all I have to say because I, I have to tell you, I am unbelievably lucky. I do not take it for granted. I have no pain. I have no shoulder issues, knees, knee issues, back, nothing. I don't have any kind of issues. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm 51. I'll be 52 in September. I have tried to keep myself um, injury free and I know everybody tries to do that, but there's people you just can't. Some, sometimes things just happen. Um, it's just the way it is. So, um, but I wanted to um, uh, give you an update on him quickly because it was such exciting news. When he sent that he was out of surgery and everything went great and he was feeling good and he said, well, I'm gonna run and go get me something to eat um, in the cafeteria or whatever the area that they have. Uh, he said, because I'm just, I'm hungry. So he is feeling great. Everything's doing good. So, but um, thank goodness. Thank you for your prayers, your thoughts, your prayers, and everybody um, that has um, gave him any kind of um, encouragement and support. So thank you all so much for that. Okay, so let me get turned around here and I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to show you guys today. We're going to look at the post office, okay? This is what we're calling our post office. This is not a federal building. This is not a federally funded building. This is something that we are building for our residents here on property. And can let me tell you something else. It is a gorgeous day. It is so beautiful. The wind is blowing just a little bit. It was a little bit cool this morning. Love it like that. It is so, oh my gosh, it's probably about 72 degrees, maybe. Might be 72 degrees. It is so nice and just so, so pretty today. But I want to show you, this is, uh, we've got, we've got all the houses that are stacked up over here. Do you see all the houses here on this? This is what we call the sales lot. But I want to show you uh, the post office. So hang on, I'm going to get it turned around here so you can see because I don't have Alyssa filming me and I don't have my selfie stick. So um, so let's turn it around and can, let me give you just a tour because I want you to see the absolute before. Oh, Rodriguez come over here and um, Justin, all of they're like, oh my God, don't show this. Don't, no, 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 it's not done. I want to show the before. I like to show the bad before so you can see the good and be like, oh, wow, what a difference. You know what I'm saying? So I like, don't you all love before and afters? You know how we'll get on there like uh, any kind of like cosmetic surgery and stuff like that, the before and after, weight loss before, after. Uh, they do those makeovers and stuff for clothes and then before, after. I mean, they're just, they're awesome. The Incredible Box did the before and after. It was fantastic. I love it. So, so I'm going to show you the bad. I wish I could have caught it sooner and stuff. Uh, there's that, look at Amber over there. There's Amber. She's going on the golf cart right there, probably delivering some package of, of something or another and running around. There's Tim. Hey, Tim. There goes Tim Brew. They call him Brew. He's on the uh, side by side. Okay, let me get the camera turned around and uh, show you the mess before, okay? <laughs> no, we'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody, we are back, and I want to show you the before of the post office, or what we're calling it. I mean, we might just call it ITH post office, or uh, the tiny town post office, or I don't know. We, I'd like to paint something on it. I mean, I don't know how... Um, how long we're gonna have it. I mean, I would assume we're gonna have it for a good while because I want it to transform into something super um, tiny house looking-ish, you know, add some wood, add some um, cutesy, you know, like flower boxes and things like that to it. There's Dave, I know he doesn't wanna be on film, but I called him anyway, so. <laughs> he said, it's okay. So there's Dave, there's Justin right there. They're working on the, uh, the post office right there. So let me back it up here. Justin just got some more material brought up here. And what they're doing is they are going to have steps on here. Um, I mean, it looks like the porch is big enough to have like, uh, maybe even have some benches. I'll probably put some benches out there. Um, and I'll talk about that more too. Today's show is going to be, I want to talk about the, the actual communities. Um, and the residents and things like that and some perks of stuff. I've been talking about it a little bit this week, uh, but I want to share all that with you. So this porch, look at this. It's going to have a ramp and it's going to have a deck to it. Look at this. This is a great big deck on here. And this is one of the 8x40 containers. Nice and clean. Got it right there. I mean, I would love for one day for there to be uh, maybe windows, a great big picture window in it. Um, have some uh, flower boxes and have it all decorated and really cute. Somebody asked the question yesterday and I read the question and I didn't even answer the question because I answered, I think her first question, but I did not answer the last one. Right here is the, this the, the office, I mean the office, the mail shed as of right now. It's just a little tiny cute mail shed, which I might take to my house. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Anyway. We'll see, they might have plans for it. So it's gonna be a ramp and it's gonna, you can walk up the stairs or you can come up the ramp. It's, it's gonna be um, a wheelchair accessible. Uh, is there a, That's what it is. yeah, wheelchair accessible. Hey Dave, Hi. this is, this is who I call Rodriguez. I have a bad habit of calling people by their last name. I don't know why I do that. Hey, oh, well, there's the mayor of Malibu. Music. Well, oh, I, I, I can't do music. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at your sign. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put the wheelchair accessible. Oh ramp, yeah. And then we're gonna put the, the walkway for the, for the 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 residents, and then we're gonna have it all bar uh, barricaded in. With oh good. Crazy. And then on the on the far end, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, parking dividers. You know where you can park your car. And oh yeah. The so there'll be a designated parking over there, kinda. For, for oh, that'll be nice. Until yeah, exactly. So, oh, okay, go ahead. Dave's being called for over there. But anyway, so he just talked about designating parking for over here. And I think he's talking about on the other side. Yeah, I think he is. So let me go over here and show you from this angle. Look at all of our houses up here in weight. You see all those houses? So right here is the 8x40 container. This is what we're using for... Um, for the post office for now and this is going to be for everybody it's going to be skirted and they're going to have it nice and they're going to have parking like is it going to be this way dave oh that's going to be nice now is there going to be an option that because i mean this is probably going to be here for a little while is there going to be an option that we can maybe put some flower boxes and maybe some windows cut out and stuff like that well, I, I wish that we can have some volunteers doing that oh there we go that'd be awesome okay so i would like to do that because that would look really nice have some uh light in there have some just decorated up because we don't want something to look like an eyesore you know what i'm saying all i ask from the for, uh from the t residents here yeah can, please don't cross the barrier when we do have don't cross the barrier okay so once they put the barrier up don't cross please, it please it's, it's up there for a reason okay one of one calling the, in the middle of the night saying i fell through the exactly because dave is a part of our safety well you are the safety <laughs> i was gonna say a part of what's well, really just dave so dave is kind of like our hr and our safety guy here at ith and he has done a fantastic job and believe me he took it on i mean he goes by earplugs I wear uh, eye protection, uh, always having the, the first aid kits. Where are they at? So Dave is taking care of all that, has done great for us. And 
Dave organizes so much of this uh, that goes on. Really, it's a we are all a, a, a jack of all trades around here. Wear a lot of hats. I'm surprised that the girls are not don't have uh, tool belts on because which that should start. I would say. Okay, we'll get them going. Well, thank you, Dave. We're excited about this. I know the residents are super excited about it. Now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go up around this way and go in and show you. Now the mailboxes are in there. They're metal boxes. Okay, see here's how the ramp's gonna go. Going up around here. Oh, there's the the front of the little one right now. Let's take a peek in there while I'm over here. Okay. Oh, there it is. I haven't been up here in a while. Okay. So packages are in here. There's a bulletin board right there. They have added a rack up here. Oh, look, there's somebody sunglasses. Somebody left their sunglasses. Everybody's got little, oh, look, you can go in here, go inside here, check your base mail. Oh, they got it. Look here, alph alphabetize. It's just like a, this is so great. I love when the community, whose sunglasses are those? Whose are those? Those are super cute. I love them. So Anyway, I'll leave that open for them. Oh, FedEx is here. So I'll leave that open for them to leave. So that has done very well. That cute little shed, that has done well. This is where people leave their, their rent payments, their electric bill, water bill, things like that. So it's all locked and safe in there. Um, so, oh, Dave. Listen, Dave is produces. Dave produces is all I got to say. He knew I wanted to look at this. He knew that. Look at this. Here they are. So what happens is you have all of the individual little boxes, okay? But the whole thing opens, what, in the back? Or does the whole front open? Uh, front opens up. That is so cool. That was one of the requirements that they told us that the whole thing had to open, not just individually each one that she has to open up. So the whole thing opens, boop, 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 boop put mail in, and it'll be good to go. And that is approved by the U.S. Postal Place. That's awesome. Once we get our thumbs up from the uh, postmaster and that's it. Yay. Do you know, now how are we gonna put them in there? Is it just gonna be, are they gonna be on the wall or how's it gonna be? Here's the inside. I believe. Uh, are we going in the middle? It's going in the middle. I think it's going against the wall. This side's gonna be with counter, with the, like a countertop. Okay. So they can go Oh, nice, the yeah. Read the, you know, they have a big billboard here for... Oh, perfect. Like announcements and everything like that. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. And then um, we have a, might have a little chair or something back here, a table. Right? Okay. You can sit down and read your mail over, you know. And go over whatever. Baskets and stuff. Mm-hmm. And eventually... Uh, I wonder... We windows in here. Oh, we need windows in here badly because we do have the puck lights. They've got all the puck lights in here and there will be, but we need to look out. We need to have, it out yeah. I know we're gonna have a mini, it's gonna be air conditioned. Oh, it's uh, AC and heat. We got the mini split back here. Oh, that's great, I love it. There's panel box and everything. Oh, we've got to have some windows, Dave. We do. Man, this is nice. Now, one of the things that we talked about, so all of the boxes are gonna be on this side, Dave said, okay. And then they're gonna have a big countertop and maybe something back here. Now, decorating it. Mm hmm. Take some, some how do you say, suggestions? Yeah. Or maybe on how, maybe somebody might. I mean, probably paint just paint need it. to paint it. I think we ought to paint it and it look real nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. This, I mean, this is nice. Well, one of the things that somebody asked, and I'm gonna turn around here and show you because this is the rest of, it's an eight by 40. Somebody asked, and I did not answer the question. I actually read the question, but never answered the question, which is very typical of me. Um, they said, is the mountain going to have its own? It's going to have its own, okay? This is not going to be a, the mountain's um, mailbox. We or the, too, We have too many. We got too many. We got 100, is it 160? I think 162, 63. Yeah, 162, around 160-ish, heavy on the ish, we'll say. Yeah. Um, so you have three um, how many is, sections. So, yes. So that's why we only need it for this area. And is there 30? Is that what it is? I think there's 30. Oh, it looks like more, but maybe. 35. 35. Okay. That's awesome. So that's great. So we're going to have people come in. So I guess 
we won't stack them because we don't want them tall. So we'll just have it all lined up that way. It'll be to where everybody can reach. Perfect. That's awesome. Well, I wanted to give an update on this because, uh, and I definitely want to do the before because the containers are great. And you know what? The containers actually came down in price. They went sky high and uh, luckily they did come back down. So we found some, or John found some. Well, not sure who found them. I don't know if it was John or not, but let me get my glasses here. Um, but we took advantage and I think we bought four because they were all uh, like a really affordable price. Oh my gosh, everything's gonna look so great. And this is gonna be way enough for, for all the residents. Let me be careful where I'm going. Big steps right here. Oh my gosh, these are great. But I wanted to share that with you today. Let me go back on the other side over here. So it's right as you come in on Tiny Town right here, Tiny Town Way. And they're trying to get all of this finished before Randy gets back. Randy should be back on Thursday. So we're trying to get a lot of things accomplished before Thursday, just so we can get it done and over with. Now let me get back with Dave. Let me. So we'll have our, if we're not delivering to our doors with the UPS mm -hmm. or the, you know, the other services that we have yep. that they give us, they'll be in here. They'll be in here. So I'm glad Dave brought that up because I didn't even have that in my mind, but the packages will be in here from now on. So they'll be the, once we open this, uh, the UPS, FedEx, all of the packages will be in here. Plenty enough room for it. Thank you for getting those out, David. Thank you. Justin, thank you for all this, doing it. Well, we are excited about this. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go down through here uh, on the beach and I want to show you the beach and over there at the forest real quick and I want to show you what the residents have been up to and the prairie has not caught up to it yet but I will tell you exactly what is going on it's super cute hang on there and we'll be right back okay we're back and I am 100% shade hunting I have hid in the shade put my car over here in the shade I do not get along with the sun um let me show you right here look at the mayor of Malibu over here He's over there like digging and I want to show you what, what they're doing. And I'm going to tell you exactly what, what I was told last time. But I want to share, share that with you because it just shows the community and that they're doing stuff. Oh, I forgot I had my drink. Oh, hold on. I got, me a, I got me a lemon water over at Sonic. Mm. Oh, Lord. Okay, I had a Coke yesterday. I mean, we're talking like a root. Uh, people call it root. I call it route. Route 44. But I feel weird saying route 44 because... I'd say most people say Route 44. I don't know what to say. But anyway, um, and my, my address back in the day used to be Route 44, Box 517. That was way back in the day. That's back whenever I was a kid uh, at my house. Okay, so anyway, so none of that matters. Okay, that's foolish talk. Okay, so right here, let me get it to where, oh gosh, I'm going to leave my car running too. Okay, so let me get in the shade. And I have got sunscreen on today too, so mayor of malibu over here and will and becky told me about this last night and we'll go up there to their place too but what was told to me is that becky challenged the communities here uh, so they're trying to have like some kind of a um comp little friendly competition let's say that resident resident uh, residential competition i guess you'd say but becky challenged the residents of the beach and of the prairie to who who to do a sign i don't know who's the best because it's all different areas but challenge them to do a sign for their community their little area so will and becky have made a sign over there and i don't know who all helped and participated but we're going to go up there and look at their sign but we're going to come over here to the mayor of malibu mike over here and uh he is over here and i think him and cindy i think cindy helped uh, over there, but we'll, we'll ask him. So, uh, but they did a little sign and I don't think they've done, uh, the prairie over. Okay. Prairie people, prairie dogs. I've been calling them the prairie dogs over there. Prairie dogs, you're getting lazy. You better, you better get on it because, uh, Will and Becky's already got their sign done. Number one. Well, you knew they would, that you know how they are. You, you know how Will and Becky are. Okay. They're, they're going to get it done. They're going to have it done. They've got so many projects, weekend projects to i mean they're play, they got a spread okay i've said it before and I'm, I'm i'd say it to their face they have a spread over there okay got a big outfit it's almost like dallas did you ever watch dallas what was the name of what was the name of their uh fort uh, uh well oh gosh 
I can't believe I can't remember the ranch. Well, anyway, it's going to end up and be like uh, over here. They're going to uh, be like Yellowstone. Glory is going to be like Yellowstone over here. Everybody's just, I mean, stacking it, stacking it up. Okay, so let's go over here to Mike. Uh, go over here to Mayor of Malibu. My hair is just, oh, it's just a mess today. But anyway, let's go over here to uh, Mayor of Malibu and see what he's doing. And we didn't ask him if he could be on, uh, wanted to be on camera either. So, but what's new? All right. We'll Let be me right. tell you something. This is one busy place. It is, there has been so many cars, so many um, golf carts and, and everything that is going on here. Hey, how are you? People walking, huh? Like your shirt. She had a, she had a silver sparkly uh, star on her shirt. Okay. I'm going to sneak up on Mike. This is so cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, Mayor of Malibu, what in the world are you doing? And I didn't ask you if you could be on film. Oh, it's my hair. So, yeah, <laughs> listen, I was just fixing my hair. I put on different hair today, and it's just not doing for me. So, what in the heck is going over here? Going on over here at the beach? Yeah, I was talking to them, and they said, we're challenging us. <laughs> okay, I'm, in, I'm up for it. You yeah, know, they just, start stuff. They're like that. Yeah, they're yeah. those kind of people. They start stuff. Yeah, so you know, keep it up with Jones. You got to keep up with the breeze. <laughs> you got to right? keep up the little breeze. That's right. Oh, wow. It's in French people. I said I, I think they're <laughs> infringing on company property over here. <laughs> keep coming farther and farther out. They're, hey, they're encroaching. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to show me and tell me what is going on. This is the first. I've not looked at theirs yet, so we're going to oh, theirs next. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I bet it is. I, well, I seen it a little bit last night. Okay. So what's going on? And who helped you? Did you have help? Well, I, I came up with the sign after talking to them and we painted it. And then Cindy said, well, I got some decals and some stencils. And we went through them. So yeah, let's just do that and that and that. They and that. look great. So she did the stencils and then. That looks so good. You guys it. did great. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Now, what are you doing down here? What's happening here? Well, some azaleas here. Ooh, yeah. But good old Walmart didn't have much Oh, everybody's picked through it. You can't get anybody to wait on you. Oh, I know. It'd be a good place for a Walmart. <laughs> it absolutely would. So you're going to put the azaleas in there. Yep. And then uh, some other, if we get some of those tropical grassy things, if we can find them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some good grasses to put in there. Uh, my basket was full of Walmart. So. I know. Well, now Gloria talked about a place somewhere in Cosby uh, behind... Oh, God, what'd she say? Some barbecue place or like a big, what did she say? Oh, oh, sugar. Well, I don't know. Somewhere in Cosby, but she said there's a place over there uh, with plants and stuff and that they're really affordable. Well, I know there's that nursery up in uh, Newport here by the big boy. Or the that's what she said. She said big boy. Oh, so that's the one that. she's, oh, she, okay, yeah. she's talking about that. I thought you meant Cosby, Cosby, Cosby. Well, I don't know. Well, now I don't know what Cosby, she said. I am absolutely the person to tell something to if it's a secret because I will never remember it. And I can't repeat it, so. May, may repeat them and you can't remember anything. <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> anything. <laughs> well, this looks beautiful. I absolutely love that they come up with that because it's showing the communities coming together and just start doing, making this place your own. This is exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't do everything. No. And you want to take nice now instead of. No, exactly that's right no. well and everybody that mainly almost everybody that's here they're here for the long haul yeah. so some people are here for most people are here forever like say, sitting around watching TV oh listen how much can you watch Bob Barker I mean good gosh get outside right yep. well thank you so much for sharing I know I just jumped right up here and, and just didn't even ask Faith helped me this morning, too. So oh, she, good. So Faith she, helped you, too. Good. For us and, oh, my gosh. That is so nice. Uh, putting, um, different plants here and put them in here. Or, oh, yeah. You know, I don't care. What you I absolutely love that house. That it was the giveaway house. Oh, gosh. Four years ago, I guess. it Well, well f five years ago. And, and Ann didn't even win it. She actually ended up buying it from the person who won it. So we that was the giveaway house at Inca cutest little house it's so yeah exactly yeah so it but it was so great that it come back to us so we get to look at it every day it was just such a cute build and we love doing the giveaways anyway so really it's so cute it is super super cute it reminds me of a little uh train caboo or like an engine little train so kitchen in the back and the side door yes 
I love it. It's so cute. And I'm trying to get uh, more and more people. Now, I'm my, well, I'm not going to tell it. I'm not going to tell what you offered to me uh, to do that we get to do sometime. I'm not going to tell because I want it to be a surprise. Okay. No, I forgot. No, I don't say. You're as bad as I am. Mayor of Malibu, you better straighten up. <laughs> we need something like that. All right, well, thank you so much. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to look at this whenever it, when it's all done and stuff. But this looks fantastic. I'm so proud of you guys. Oh, because you, you still don't remember? No. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. what. I'll click off and tell you. But I'm going to tell you this, too. On the videos, I said I'm going to, and, and I'm going to let you all decide what to do with it. I'm going to order a bunch of benches. Uh, I'm going to order uh, bicycles. Oh, yes. I'm going to order all that stuff. So you all, and I'm what I'm going to do is just turn it over to you all. And you all put them together, put them where you want to, whatever you, you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions before I order, because I'm going to order this weekend. So if you got suggestions about, because, you know, it's kind of easy with the forest. You get a bench, like, a, a you know, an iron bench and stuff, and it's going to match anything over there. Yeah. The beach is a little bit different. So if you see something on Amazon that you think, hey, you know what, that'd be really cool because I don't really, I don't know how, what we want to sit. We want some statues. We want some. Cornhole boards are cool. I can't believe you said that. Do you know Alyssa said that last night? Yeah. And we know a guy. Know a guy. We have a cornhole guy, <laughs> believe oh. it or not. Okay. We yeah. know a guy. He used to be the UPS driver over at Inca and he makes them and they are gorgeous. So would you probably need one for each? One for each side? You just need one? Uh, I don't know how many cornhole players we got. We might just, well, two boards might be enough. What might, two, two, so, you know, let me like, get one. Winner takes on the, whoever won and, there you go. Let me get one and we'll start from there. If you got some more suggestions, let me know because I know everybody's gonna have like their own little picnic tables and stuff. So what else do you might need? I mean, I know statues, but do you need benches? Yeah, we mentioned that last night. I thought, why didn't I think of that? I know, yeah. So I'm going to order all that stuff, but I'm definitely bicycles. Um, I'm going to get some for little kids, like if people visit, you know, the kids visit and stuff. So I'll get some of them, but I'm going to get one for each section uh, so everybody can have some. And then you can just jump on the bike and just whatever you want to, you know? So, all right. Thank you for. Of, I get my rusty bike, get rid of it, and just use this one. <laughs> then also. just use it. That's yeah. exactly right. All right, good deal. Looks beautiful. Thank you. And I'm going to head over to Will and Becky's and, and see their son. But let me tell you some old prairie dogs over here. They better get on it. They're getting lazy. I, I don't see any kind of sign. see maybe um, <laughs> Mishka and Gloria probably doing something. I don't know there, there you go. Well, they better get on it. Y'all have y'all are way ahead of them. Yeah. I'm just saying so. Um we got to come up with a name. Are, are you all beach combers? What should we call the beach? Hmm. You're going to have to come up with something. And then the yeah. forest, we got to call the forest something. But I've already named them prairie dogs. I think that's perfect. Beach the, combers is good, I guess. Beach combers, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. All right, study on it. Study on it, pray about it. All right. Oh. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you what. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, we're back. And I just, like, I just saw the mayor of Malibu over here. Liz, my face, my face is hot and everything. It's like crazy. It is like Grand Central Station. I mean, everybody is like everywhere around here. Like there isn't a place, like people are passing, people are walking, everybody is out doing something somewhere. There's more people up here, over here. Oh, look, hey, are you, I'm, like she said, I'm filming. Look, over there. See how she's there? Bye. <laughs> she was gonna stop. She saw my car here, and she said, "You're filming." Let me turn turn it around. I wish I could turn it around. There she goes. Oh, how sweet. Well, I'm sorry. I was. She said, "Are you filming?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm filming." Okay. So what I want to show really quick, because I mean, it is a rattling on kind of day, and I do apologize for that. Here comes another car. It is so busy here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the uh, Will and Becky's um, spread over here that I call it. Okay. So, they have done a sign. It looks so pretty. They took me over there last night and showed it. It is absolutely beautiful. So, they started it, and it was the, they did the, they did the challenge of, um, to the, the other residents to, to do a sign. So, okay. So, let's go over there. Hang on just a second. Let me see. What if I can switch that over while I'm on here? Nope. It will not switch over. It will not go back and forth. All right, so hang on just a second. Okay, so here we are in my little car, my dirty little car, okay? So there's Will and Becky's right here. We're on Tiny Town. Let me just kind of pan around. There's Fort Jones. Look at you. 
gorgeous day. Tiny town, it is beautiful. Right here, Will and Becky's, okay? Look at their flight. Look at all the stuff that they have. They have got a gorgeous corner lot right there. I always say this and I'll say it again. No one wanted these four lots right here. Look how pretty those lots are with all those beautiful cedar trees and different trees that's in there. It's just, it's stunning. Okay, let's go up here and I'll get closer and I wanna show you the sign that has started it all. So Becky has challenged the other she has challenged, look at all their cute stuff. They're doing so many projects, it's so awesome. Look at this right here. What do you guys think of that? Is that not beautiful? Welcome to the Enchanted Forest. Will and Becky did that on their own, on their lot here. It looks stunning. They took a piece of the barn metal, uh, so pretty. And look at the trees, let me kind of go in some more. They have got some solar lights, so you know that looks beautiful lit up at night. So I'm gonna have to come here at night and see how it looks. Look how gorgeous, okay? Prairie dogs, you better get kicking it into gear. Mike Tice is over there, mayor of Malibu, is over there working on their sign at the beach, which is well on its way, it looks gorgeous. This looks completely done, it looks so great. Uh, Will and Becky have done a fantastic job, have such a spread over here. And um, the friendly competition has already started. Um, Mike Tice, we had just said over there, mayor of Malibu said, if you ain't first, you're last. So, they better get on it. I love all the solar lights. Solar lights look so great um, at night. Look, oh my God, they're just so patriotic and just so, I just love everything. I just absolutely love it. They have got a great big spread. Everybody's lot can look like this. You can do whatever you want to to your lot. Let me, down the road right there. That's down Jack Pine. Look how cute everything is. Everybody's got them like a little fence. They got all kinds of little decor. You'll remember this house we just pulled in a couple of weeks ago. Still got little houses over here. There's still the empty lot that is over here. There's only just a few empty lots now. Um, down through Tamarack, gorgeous, gorgeous day. Everybody is out and about. It is so pretty outside. Let's go back here. I want to show you something special that the mayor of Malibu did for Myrtle. Uh, as you all know, Myrtle's, um, may or may not know, Myrtle's husband passed away and uh, Mike took it upon himself and made a memory bench for him, a memorial kind of bench. And he put it down here at the pond and put it in, in Bob's memory and she can come and sit on it and can paint it up, do whatever she would like to do with it. But he put that together for her. And that is just part of the community, just doing something nice for another person. That is just so sweet that he did that. So thank you, Mike, for doing that. Really appreciate that. That is really beautiful. Is that not incredibly nice? That is just so nice that he did that. And I... It just makes you feel so good with the community coming together, um, working together. It's, you know, everybody's been here about a year now, and it's taken its time. Look at the grass growing over there. Isn't this going to be pretty, a pretty area through here? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have the uh, Milligan Mile to start coming through here, okay? So it's going to come through here, go behind the building, Behind the building, I want it to be blocked off. So, you know, so you see something pretty uh, instead of the, the back of the factory. So we're gonna put up a big wall and we're gonna put some vines and, and get some honeysuckle and all that kind of stuff and uh, grow it. Just so it just looks prettier. We want this to look very beautiful, very pretty, right? Okay. Look how that looks in there. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it is just looking so pretty. And look down through here, all of this See, there's the pond, okay? All of this is gonna be gone. We're not gonna have houses back here anymore. You know, we've got we got a couple of campers, got one of the sheds and you know, people waiting on their houses, but we're not gonna have this. This is not, all this is going to be grass. It's gonna be graded off. Randy's gonna have it really pretty and it's gonna be all grass. So these, this is temporary housing. Temporary power is here. This is all temporary. Um, Cause we want everybody to come over here and enjoy the pond and when you have people that are just you know 
they they're right here at it you're really not going to feel comfortable with coming over here you feel like you're kind of horning in on somebody else's area and stuff like that uh, but we want everybody to enjoy all the ponds and stuff and everything that we're gonna offer it is getting there everybody um people are working on their houses um we're still working on some houses and stuff and temporary temporarily uh you know there's uh the back of the building so you know we have we've got a lot of work to do but it's getting there it is getting there and we want to thank everybody uh for participating all you residents oh my gosh we want you to love where you live okay oh that'd be a good sign love where you live incredible tiny homes or incredible properties you know we never talk about incredible properties we actually have uh, a, another company and it is called incredible properties and incredible properties is um all the land and stuff like that you know all the uh the the lots and everything like that so um i just want to share that with you we never we never talk about it because incredible tiny homes of course it's the first thing that you think of but think of picture all the grass here and that people get to come over here and have a picnic and enjoy it um also let me go over here really quick to there's a, oh, there was a fish it just jumped or something just jumped oh my gosh cute um i just talked to mike also and i text randy and was talking about the dog lot okay so al mike and who else with curtis curtis i think is volunteering to um start putting the poles up okay so we're going to try and get all the materials together for them to start on the dog lot the holes are already dug over there i think some more holes have to be dug we have to get a hold of yump to do those to to auger them okay but uh the poles are over there i believe mike said but they're going to start working on the dog lot because we need that so desperately almost every person that is here uh, has a, a dog and they would really enjoy that so we're going to get all the fencing together for them and everything just start um lining up um into place i'm so excited because we want people to be proud of where they're at we want this to be a stunning example of a tiny home community that everybody needs one in every city i mean tiny homes need to be everywhere we need affordable housing and just like i mentioned yesterday let me get right here in this little bit of shade and just like i mentioned yesterday um if you're going to do any kind of airbnb or you're going to do any type of uh tiny houses on your property or anything like that um just keep in mind to help people out to do affordable housing um, and just try to keep it low you know what keep it low keep it consistent um, and you'll just get you know as the saying goes you get more uh, flies with honey than you do vinegar okay so um, we will um, be back tomorrow let me actually kind of go back into where you can see me and then I'll do the sign off because it's rude that you, you're not getting to see me right now. So hang on. Okay, so we want to go ahead and sign off. I want to say thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tour of everything for the residents. Talking about the residents, talking about everybody that's here. I want to kind of show you, can you see everybody's, the houses over in the prairie? Can you kind of see that over that way? Let me see, can you see everybody? I got the sun in my eyes. See how it's all coming together? And we got a bit the big pond over there as well. So we will tour again. We'll tour the property again so you can see everything. But everybody's been working on their houses and doing yard work and just having so much fun. Springtime and summertime that's about to be here brings out so much for everybody, especially they're in their houses now. They're excited. They've made plans. They got their designs. So it's super exciting. And we love everybody that's here. And we want everybody to be happy. And we want to provide stuff for them and to give little perks to them. Tiny house residents that are here, if you have any suggestions, uh, let us know. We're very, um, uh, we're very open to everything. But like I said, I am going to order benches. I'm going to order try to order a lot of stuff that I can think of cornhole uh, game that we're going to do that Alyssa came up with that last night but also Mike just mentioned it too for the beach so horseshoes and things like that so we want everybody to be active have enough to do uh, have fun and whenever you have 
visitors, they're going to have stuff to do too. So I'm going to buy some little bikes for like grandkids and things like that too. So just you can grab and go. So um, thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow and I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow, but we might do something completely different do something off property i'm not sure but uh, we'll come up with something and i've got a, still a ton of houses look at these to tour like there's all kinds that i'm sure we've not went through all of them yet okay so we will come up with something but i thank you so much and thank you so much again for um all the thoughts and prayers for randy he's doing great and uh we will be back tomorrow so thank you guys have a good night Bye.